What up guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, this morning I was working on my Pomodoro timer. It has a section for suggested content. Um, and so I was just adding some default videos just in case someone hasn't used the Pomodoro timer yet and they haven't entered any goals. They don't see like a blank feed. So those suggested videos are in there. Also, I looked up the Pomodoro technique on Google Trends, just out of curiosity, let me show you. So I was expecting to see a spike in 2020 because that's when people got really interested in them, but it never goes down and it just keeps going up. So people are definitely interested in focus timers. Uh, if you're interested in the vlog editor stuff, that's in part one of this vlog. So you can see how I vibe coded some Python functions and I controlled them with N8N. Other than that, this is just gonna be a normal vlog gonna do my software stuff gonna do my normal daily stuff playing basketball with some friends later sorry about the siren if you can hear that but yeah keep watching tending to based on signatures in their ear. So our earbuds, you know, that become sort of a window to our state. Um, and you've got a number of companies working on that right now. Uh, you know, so do we need to wear lots of different sensors? No. Do we need to have the sensors, the data we have, whether it's on our bodies or off our bodies, be able to, you know, work together and not be proprietary to just one company, but to be able to integrate great with other companies, that, that becomes really important. You need integrative systems so that the, the data they have can interact with the systems that surround, surround you or surround my spaces or the mattress I'm sleeping on, right? Um, because you've had a lot of specialty of design come from different developers, and that's partly been a product of, again, the, the FDA and the regulatory pathways because of the cost of development. It tends to move companies. Yo, so I watch a lot of uh, podcasts and stuff like that. And dang it, one second. I'll try to put this, a clip of that in there, but I'm obsessed with data, right? And um, also like suggested content and how algorithms affect us and everything. And what this lady is talking about is you need a lot of data to power AI um, and AI can help you uh, if it has that data. That's what I want to try to get into the focus timer is like more context on your goals, more context on who you are as a person to better train uh, the algorithm. And I don't know how I'm going to get there. She was also talking about how like it's way easier for big companies to do that because, you know, obviously the big companies have all the data, but I think that's something that we should strive for is like democratizing that data 
and collecting data for ourselves and like our small communities because you know then we have more control over the AI uh, and that's really what if that's going to be what helps us we want to have control over that stuff so that's just a little thought I just wanted to mention it because if you guys are watching this vlog you're interested in like you know how I kind of think throughout the day as a industry software engineer who's worked uh, at big tech companies um, and stuff like that. If you don't know, by the way, I was a data engineer at Facebook and a software engineer at Amazon. If you're not subscribed and you haven't, if you're just starting to follow the journey anyways. <laughs> but yeah, by the way, subscribe, like the video, and then uh, let's continue with the day. So it's the next morning. I'm working for like a 90 minute focus session. Pretty much what I did was checked the usage of the Pomodoro timer and added more videos to uh, people's feeds. So I guess, I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but yeah, this is what it pretty much looks like. So I don't know if you've used the focus timer, but you enter in, hold on. You enter in a focus goal, like, these are mine, so I can see my history. Uh, every, everyone can see their history. But yeah, you enter in your focus goal and set a time. Um, and like the first goal for me this morning was to check the timer usage and add content if needed. So, you know, I looked at all the uh, data in the database, looked at Google Analytics, looked at like the payments thing, and then saw who was using the timer and looked at what they were looking uh, looked at what they were working on and then basically just looked up videos and picked ones that i thought would be helpful for them so yeah so if you want to do that go to boostfocustimer.com and i will personally send you content also i was thinking about some for some stuff that people work on there's not really really like motivational videos out there or like stuff that uh, will get them to want to to focus and so I was thinking about making videos specifically for them so uh, so I might do that if it seems like it'll work uh, but yeah what was I gonna say oh yeah so the more if you're using the focus timer the more descriptive you are with the, the goals for the focus sessions the better content that you will get uh, which makes sense so yeah so now I'm gonna take a walk and then uh, run the vlog editor uh, to make this vlog. Mm -hmm. 